White collar boxing originates from the USA. In the 1980s, Gleason's Gym, which is a world famous gym in New York, started organizing white collar boxing bouts for solicitors, doctors, they're kind of regular members so they could give them something competitive to work towards. The first white collar boxing match in the UK was held in London in around, the, in around 2000. Ultra white collar boxing started organizing events in Derby in 2009, and ultra white collar boxing went about things in a, in a slightly different way. Earlier white collar boxing bouts were very much organized on the basis that people trained at the gym, they went along training for a while, and then when they got to a certain level, they would box on a show, and you'd get some people boxing people from different gyms, you'd get people boxing that trained together, a kind of real variety of things. In 2009, in December 2009, ultra white collar boxing organized an event, and it was based around getting a group of beginners, and they all trained together as a group in the same gym for eight weeks. And then at the end of the eight weeks, they were all matched up and they all fought each other. The beauty of arranging the events in that manner is that you ensure fair matches. Rather than getting one gym and another gym, and they all want their fighters to win, they all want their boxers to win, we're in a position where one trainer trains everybody together. That one trainer gets to know everyone. They know how good they are at sparring, they know how fit they are, they know how kind of gritty they are, and they know what their temperament's like when they spar. And based on an assessment period, really, of eight weeks whilst they train, that trainer can match them all up so they can all have a fair, competitive bout. UWCB did the first event in 2009. Over the years, have expanded across the UK. Um, when we first started running events, we used to raise money for charity at all of them. But in 2014, we decided just to raise money for Cancer Research UK. We run around about um, 450 events every year, and every year around 17 to 18,000 people sign up, go through the eight weeks of training, and then take part in, in an event at the end. I think it's quite important in this little video to kind of explain a little bit more about boxing as well. Typically, historically, in the UK, you would have a British Boxing Board of Control, which is uh, professional boxing, Anthony Joshua. Uh, Amir Khan and those guys you see on the TV. Then you have England boxing, which is governed by AIBA, which is which leads people onto the Olympics, and that's classed as amateur boxing. So typically you've got professional boxing, and you've got um, amateur boxing, which is England boxing. Ultra white collar boxing, all white collar boxing events don't involve either of those. We organise our events, um, we govern our events ourselves, and we also regulate our events by carrying out regular safety checks. To our knowledge, UWCB are the only people other than the only people other than the British Boxing Board of Control and England Boxing running boxing shows that have got our own insurance. So all participants at our events are all fully insured. We have proper health and safety checks, so literally everything at an event gets checked. All participants have a medical before they box, everyone has a medical straight after they box. I think over the last 10 years, whilst we've been organising these events, there's been an absolute explosion of boxing in the UK. I think that's partly down to UWCB and the volume of events we, take, we run and the number of people that take part and the number of people that have easy access to take part in a boxing event because they can sign up online, come along to a boxing gym, they fill out a health questionnaire, we check them over and they start training and they can easily get involved in boxing. Obviously, Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua have had a gigantic impact on boxing as well. And I think between that at an elite level and us at a real grassroots level, I think it's really helped push boxing to the forefront and helped it become more and more popular and more and more accessible. White collar boxing is a really positive thing for people to do, especially if they do it at a UWCB event because they're safe. Um, you get eight weeks of free training. So you get to go to a gym for free that you normally have to pay for for eight weeks. You get professional guidance. You know, the days of people doing a 10K run and getting sponsored or a Tough Mudder, this is a very similar thing, but you're getting into a ring and you're having a boxing match. Probably most importantly, well, one of the most important things to me is that during the eight weeks training, you will get super fit, you will get really healthy, you will have real drive because you're working towards something. You're signing up, you're getting eight weeks of training, at the end, you're having a fight. You're having a boxing match. And whilst the training is fantastic team-driven exercise and you all do it together as a group, on event day, it's a very individual sport. And that, as a motivator, as a goal, as a target to set, is absolutely incredible for people. We regularly get people who lose two stone during the training, raise hundreds of pounds for charity, and it gives them a renewed confidence to go on and do other things in their lives. Some people continue boxing, some people just see the benefits of exercise and eating better and they carry on training. Some people get their kids involved in boxing. I think all in all, ultra white collar boxing is an incredibly positive thing. 
and in my opinion it's a great thing for anyone to sign up. You can sign up to take part in an event at uwcb.co.uk.